Senator Lazarus. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, my question is to uh, Senator Abetz, the, uh, representing the Minister for Agriculture. Uh, Australian farmers are the lifeblood of our land. Uh, they feed our country, employ many people, and contribute to our economy. Despite this, your government is undermining the viability of our farmers. The ginger industry is a thriving sector in Australia comprising some 50 growers. 95 per cent are based in Queensland and the majority are Australian owned and operated. Ginger growers generate some $32 million per year at Farmgate. In total, the industry generates around $80 million per year through fresh and processed food. The Australian Ginger Growers Industry Association has just confirmed that your government allowed the importation of ginger into Australia from Fiji from August this year. Senator, why has your government allowed the importation of fresh ginger into Australia, which will directly hurt hard-working Australian farmers, and will your government compensate farmers for associated financial loss? The Leader of the Government in the Senate, representing the Minister for Agriculture, Senator Abetz. Uh, thank you, Mr President. The Leader of the Palmer United Party in this place is absolutely right when he describes farmers as the lifeblood uh, of Australia and our economy. Without farmers, we would not have the foods that we rely and basically take for granted each and every day. And that is why I would call on the Leader of the Opposition to stop demeaning agricultural workers and demeaning people that harvest potatoes, pick apples, pick the fruit that provide the meals that we as Australians rely on each and every day. Now, Mr President, the assertion has been made by the leader of the Palmer United Party in this place that we are somehow undermining the agricultural sector. Can I say with deep respect to him, I reject that assertion. I reject that assertion absolutely. And indeed, uh, the farmers of this country have a great champion in the Minister for Agriculture, Mr Joyce. And can I also indicate to the leader that the free trade agreement so ably, ably negotiated by Minister Robb with South Korea and Japan have provided a real boost for the agricultural sector, be it dairy, be it beef, be it sheep, be it horticulture, huge, huge gains. Now, if we are in the marketplace of seeking to get free trade with other countries, then we, as a nation, can build on one of our great strengths, and that, of course, is the agricultural sector. Now, Mr uh, President, in relation to imports of ginger from Fiji, I was not able to um, find any parliamentary brief uh, in the folder in relation to that, and I'll take that part of the question on notice. But can I assure him that we as a government Thank are you, committed Minister, to the agricultural sector? Thank you, Minister. The time for the question has expired. A supplementary question, Senator Lazarus. Uh, not only uh, will the importation of Fiji, gin uh, Fiji ginger into Australia hurt farmers, jobs in rural and regional Australia, Fiji is known to have roundworm, which reproduces inside the ginger. This pest is very destructive and could wipe out entire ginger crops, putting our entire ginger industry at risk. It can also affect other types of crops. Senator, why does your government think this is an acceptable risk? Can you 100 per cent guarantee that the pest won't destroy our ginger crops Thank or you, more across Senator, the other the crops? Senator, the time for asking the question has expired. Minister. Uh, Mr President, can I clear up for the Leader of the Palmer United Party that it's not the government per se that determines whether a risk is appropriate or not, but an independent risk assessment is made by scientifically qualified officials who make that determination. And as I understand it, the uh, final import risk assessment for fresh ginger from Fiji was in fact released in January 2013 in fact under the previous government, but a work plan was subsequently agreed with Fiji and the Department of Agriculture, and I am further informed that the Department of Agriculture will inspect all consignments of ginger, and uh, dep departmental officers will inspect a 600-unit sample of the ginger on arrival to ensure no pests, disease or soil is present. 
and with those sort of safeguards in place, Thank we, you, Minister. the scientific the advice is the, the guarantees has expired. are in place. Senator Lazarus, a final supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. President. While the lifeblood of our land, farmers are continuing to deal with extraordinary hardships. They are the uh, forgotten Australian battlers left to fend for themselves. It appears the government is more interested in putting the interests of other countries, including Fiji, ahead of the needs of Australia and our, our own farmers. Senator, will your government put up funds to combat an outbreak should the Fiji roundworm make its way into our crops? Minister. Mr President, I've just indicated to the uh, honourable senator that uh, there will be an inspection to ensure no pests, no diseases or soil is present. And I, as I understand it, if those protocols are applied and there's no reason why they wouldn't be or shouldn't be, then there should be the guarantee and protection that those learned in the sciences in these matters uh, advise us. Now, in the event that a breakout were to occur, that of course would be something that uh, we would not want to see, and I am sure the Queensland and Commonwealth governments would work together in cooperation to ensure that anything that needed to be done would be done. But having said that, uh, there is no expectation or anticipation that there will be such an outbreak, given the scientific evidence and the protocols that are being put in place based on Thank you, that scientific Minister, evidence. The time for answering the question has